right folks, continuing on with these six pound balls of clay, I'm going to make a, try and make a bit, a bit of a wider shaped one now, a bit of a bulbous one. So we'll see how we get on with that. Again, I'm going to centre it up and sort of cone it up like that. And then bring it down to center it like so. It's easy when you sort of cone it up big lumps. So, again, as always, just sort of dive in, just open it out to within about half an inch of the bottom, compress the bottom. Again. Then I'm going to use that part of my hand, the uh, heel of my right hand, and just try and push some of this real thick clay up from the bottom. Not trying to get it too tall, just just sort of lift it up. It might take two goes if it starts gripping. Just steady away. So that's got the really thick stuff up from the base, it's probably about three quarters of an inch thick all the way now. So I'll just collar it in again. I'll do the first knuckle lift as always, which is using the right hand index finger, pushing that under the bottom like that with your left hand inside, pushing against each other and then lifting up at the same time, this way you can get a lot of clay up quickly once you get the hang of it. And just pull it up and you can see the clay flies up. Once you get the hang of that sort of move, it's dead easy and it's, it doesn't half make a world of difference. So I'm not going to make it any thinner because I'm going to try and really belly this pot out. So I want a little bit of thickness because if I go too thin it's just going to collapse. So I'll try and narrow the top in first before I start bellying it out because otherwise I'll find it hard to bring it back in. Slow it right down actually. So I'll slow it right down. I'm going to push in at the bottom. And I'm going to just start to force it out from the inside out. Steadily, steadily away. water inside because I can feel it gripping my hand inside. Okay, I'm just going to try and just stretch it out from inside out. Really it's just how wide you dare get, you dare make it. So if you go too far it'll just collapse on itself. Might be getting a little bit thin at the top, so I'll just make the uh, top part first before I finish up. Finish off stretching it out. You can see it's going a bit. Just there, it's going a little bit wobbly because it is a little bit thick there. So I won't, I'm not going to bother with that bit. Longer. Just give it one final stretch out in the middle. 
and raise the shoulder of the pot a little bit higher. I hope it doesn't collapse. I don't know why my camera goes brilliant white when I... But that's got it back. I think that's about it. If I go any further it's just going to get a bit thin and collapse on me so... Probably as thin as a day ago, but it's not a bad shape. Not too bad. You've just got to know when to stop. You can just keep going and going and stretching it, and then it'll just all of a sudden just fall apart and collapse on you. So uh, I think that'll do. So that's a bit of a bulbousy vase, maybe a bit like a a moon jar type thing. I was going to do, do a bit more, I'm not. I'm just going to leave it at that. So that's another £6 vase, folks. There you go.